Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. My name is Valerie and I have a mixture of things on my channel. Um, not quite like one specific niche. I do a lot of beauty videos, I do crochet videos, I do market videos, I do vlogs. So my channel is kind of all over the place. So if you like one of those things, I would love if you would subscribe to my channel. So I have not filmed a empties video in so long and my bag is getting so full. So it's definitely time. Um, I have so many things that I went through and things that I want to share and talk about with you guys. So why don't we just jump right in? So this is my little bag full of empties here and I'm just going to like pull out whatever's here. No specific order, but these are the bulkiest. So I'm going to pull them out. I have talked about these so many times on my channel. These are the lashes that I use. Um, they claim to last five to seven days, but for me, they last seven because I'm really careful. I never really rub my eye or anything and this is the brand flutter habit these are so dirty but i've been using them for three four years now and i love them i cannot go without them i just feel so good without makeup with them on this one is in the style number three this is the weightless collection so you do get one two three four you get six pairs of lashes so this book of lashes will last me about a month and a half which is really nice and I actually have it set on subscription so so that way I don't have to worry about like making sure I don't run out of lashes um I actually have a box going right now and I'm two in so I still have four more um they are the lashes I have on obviously right now but like I said they are the weightless number three you do apply these lashes underneath your lash I actually have a video um, I will leave it linked somewhere here if you guys are interested on how I apply them. I did a whole video on them because I get questions all the time. So I went through quite a bit of these. Okay, the next thing that I went through is just a dry shampoo. This is the Moroccan Oil Dry Shampoo for light tones. I do like this. Nothing like crazy about it. Um, I really, really want to repurchase my IGK charcoal volumes um dry shampoo i loved that the smell of that alone was so good so i definitely want to repurchase that but this one was good i do love moroccan products i use them in the salon um just nothing like crazy that i loved about it so sad sad story about this this is my kosas feathery cloud set powder um this broke it dropped on the floor and it shattered in pieces so that's why it's in my empties because i wanted to talk about it i loved this powder this is like the most it's so hard to explain the texture of this when it's on your skin i feel like you could apply so much of this and it's like not noticeable at all in a good way like you can notice that it's doing something but it's like you can't see it there if that makes sense i definitely want to repurchase this i just haven't gotten around to it um but this powder is so lightweight and just so good it makes this skin look really smooth and it's just like you can't feel it on your skin it's so so lightweight so this is a really good powder if you're looking for one Mommy. do you want to say hi quick yeah okay come here mm -hmm. okay <laughs> somebody just wanted to quickly say hi you want to say hi hi <laughs> okay mommy's got to film okay 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 i I'm, love you i'm going to drive a mustard Okay, you go drive your monster trucks. We have another uh, book of lashes in here. Okay, I have some tanners in here that I want to talk about. The Loving Tan, this is nothing new. This is a tanner I've been using for, it feels like a decade. Um, it might be. Yeah, it's probably been a decade since I started using this. Um, this tanner is so good if you really, really want to look super tan if you have like an event to go to and you just like want to look like you have a spray tan and be super dark loving tan is my top favorite it's so good but also this other tanner that i use i've gone through two of them i love this tanner you guys this is the new skin sunrite insta glow tinted self tanning gel this i used all summer because it's such a good gradual tan that's so easy to apply. You don't need a mitt. You don't need any gloves. You don't need anything like that. You literally just squirt it, apply it with your hands, and then you just wash your hands after. And it gives your skin a beautiful, like, glow. Not shimmer, but, like, it definitely has, like, 
a little bit of a glow to it. So if you have like an event to go to, that's why I really love these because you don't have to worry about washing it off after. So if you have like a wedding or an event to go to, you can apply this and it's not gonna like look super dark and streaky. It just gives you like a really pretty golden glow. It is gorgeous. I love this tanner, especially if you're someone who doesn't wanna be like super dark. You just want like a really nice glow to enhance your features. This is so good. I, I love to apply this on my face as well. And it's so good. It doesn't have like a bad scent or anything like that. And you can apply it every day for a gradual tan or you could just apply it one day if you want like a little bit of color. It's so, so good. I will leave everything that I'm talking about linked down below for you guys. I did go through this micellar water. Um, this is the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water. Um, I've gone through this, but I actually didn't repurchase. I actually do have a little bit left, but I have been using my um, Nutrisentials Day Away Micellar Water. This is my favorite micellar water and it's discontinued, which is so frustrating but they're coming out with like a cleansing bomb that will melt all your makeup off. So I'm really excited for that. But that's why I didn't repurchase that because I'm using this. So I went through that. We have a Maybelline, what is this? Is this Maybelline? Yeah, we have a Maybelline Instant Age Rewind um, concealer. This is such a good concealer. From the drugstore, super good. The only thing I don't love about it is this little sponge top. I feel like it gets so dirty, but it is really easy to apply. I just kind of like apply it that way and then I go in with a sponge after. Um, but I could do without that little sponge because I feel like it gets dirty and bacteria grows on that and I don't love that, but it is such a good concealer. So, and this is in the color light. A brow pencil I probably actually yeah I have quite a few in here I go through brow product is probably my most used product so I have all these in here I probably had more that I threw out but this is the NYX micro brow pencil this is such a good eyebrow pencil in my opinion from the drugstore why spend $20 on a brow product when you go through brow product so much so I just have been using this for years and I love it. It has a really tiny um, tip to it. I have been using the color Ash Brown, which has been working nice. Um, I usually go between like taupe and ash brown, but lately it's been ash brown. So I went through a bunch of these. If you're looking for a brow pencil. Okay, I have a little um, beef. Um, I love it. I love it. But this packaging sucks. I'm gonna be honest. So this is the Stay All Night Micro Fine Setting Mist from e.l.f. This is up to 16 hour wear. It is such a good setting spray. Actually, probably my favorite. But I have such an issue with this because I actually brought over a new one because I repurchased it, obviously, because I loved it. And I can't even use my new one because the sprayer broke. So that was so frustrating. So I tried to take my old top off and I used my old top from this bottle on the other one and it worked for a little bit and then it broke again. So now I can't use the product that I love because of the spray bottle. So it's like a love hate thing. I wanted to mention it because this is my favorite setting spray currently, but the bottle sucks. So let me try to show you. This is the newer one that I bought. The spray bottle broke on it. So I switched it to my other one and then that one broke. So, so as you can see, Nothing is coming out of it. It's completely broken and sometimes it'll randomly just spray like chunks, which I don't want on my face. So I literally can't use this and it's almost brand new. So that's frustrating. And then also this e.l.f. dewy coconut setting mist that I have full bottle, the sprayer is like crazy. Like it sprays everywhere in every which direction, all different. So I can't use this either. So I don't know what it is. It's so nice that e.l.f. is affordable but you get what you pay for. So I just wanted to mention that. So definitely just look out for that if you do have the e.l.f. bottles. I don't know, maybe I just got a bad batch, but the fact that that coconut one, the bottle broke on that and I got that a while ago. So I don't know what the deal is with those spray bottles, but they need to get it together because I love e.l.f. Okay, this next product, I actually went through a long time ago. This feels like it's been in here for a very long time because I honestly don't remember much about it. This is the Belief Aqua Bomb Jelly Cleanser. I do remember liking it, but it didn't do anything crazy, so I just never repurchased it. And I also have a different cleanser that I love, but I did go through a Rare Beauty. What's the actual name of this? This is the Bronzer Stick in Happy Soul. I have repurchased it. I have a full one here, and actually this one might be 
Okay, so we still have like a little bit left, but this is my all time favorite stick bronzer. I have it on right now. It is so good, such a good color, so easy to blend, and I just love it. I literally do my foundation, whatever, and then I go in with this and apply it in the areas I wanna contour, take a brush or a sponge, whatever you prefer, and blend it out. It's my favorite. The first time I used it was when I was doing like a trial makeup for my wedding on myself. I purchased this to do that and I fell in love. So I've been buying it ever since, which has been a little bit over a year now. Okay, next up we have these that I went through. This is more skincare. I have a lot of skincare empties in here, so bear with me, but I'm not getting any younger. I'm just turned 32 in August. We're definitely starting to take care of our skin. I wish I took care of my skin when I was in my 20s. That is here nor there. It's a little too late now, but it's never too late to start. So these are the new skin peel pads. These are the, that's a tongue twister, AHA facial peel pads. This is step one, this is step two. I do have my backups here, so I will show you because there's none left in these, but I will show you what they are. So these are pads. Let me just show you. Let me get one. They look like this. Cleanse your face and then you go in with this pad and you wipe it all over your skin. You let it sit for 10 minutes and then you go in with your step two pad and then you go in with that all over your face and it is basically a chemical exfoliator without the peel. So it's like a magic eraser for your skin, gets rid of texture, sunspots, and it just really smooths your complexion out. I love these, you guys. I cannot recommend them enough. I didn't have any like weird breakouts or anything with these. I will mention the first time, the first couple times you use these, you will feel like a little bit of tingling, but I actually, weirdly like that feeling because it feels like it's like doing something. I don't know, that sounds weird, but I cannot recommend these enough. They have changed the texture on my skin. They've shrunk my pores. I will take these to the grave with me. As you can see, I've already repurchased them, so. All right, I'm just gonna stick to the rest of the skincare in here before I move on to the last products in the bag. Just because I figured since we're on the topic, we might as well get them out of the way. Um, I went through this. This is the Nutrisentials. Uh, vitamin and collagen pumps. Again, I've already repurchased another one. So as you can see, I love these products. I use this every single morning after my skincare routine and it's going to brighten your complexion and also add collagen to your skin, which helps reduce fine lines, wrinkles, all of that. It is so, so good. So love this. And then I did go through my Pillow Glow sleeping mask. This, if you have super dry skin or even just normal skin, I feel like you would love this. This is so good, you guys. I am obsessed. I already have, I actually have two backups of this because I love it so much and I never want to run out. So this is a moisturizing sleeping mask. You apply it all over your skin before bed and it is like a glass of water and more for your skin. It gives your skin so much hydration. When I wake up in the morning, I can literally still feel it on my skin and not in a bad way. It just, like my skin feels so plump and moisturized and it is seriously such a good product. Oh, favorite moisturizer, honestly, ever. It is so, so good. So highly recommend if you have dry skin or normal skin, it is so good. I like to use this. I would say about like four times a week, obsessed. I did actually get a new head for my Lumi. If you guys don't know what a Lumi is, it is the number one facial cleansing device on the market. But the reason why I'm mentioning this is because I did go through a head. These are um, interchangeable heads that you take off. You can get a few different heads depending on your skin. I really like the gentle head because it has like really flexible kind of like suction cups on there and it just feels so good on the skin. I use this every single night to cleanse my skin. You put your favorite um, cleanser on here. And you turn it on and it spins. It's a two minute session. So I will go in for like 30 seconds on each part of my face. It actually vibrates when you're ready to move to the next section. And it will also vibrate if you're moving too quickly. The heads on here are silicone and medical grade, so they do not harbor or grow bacteria. You just wanna switch them out because after, you know, four months, they will start to kind of have their natural like wear and tear. I don't know if you can tell, but this one is the old one and it kind of has changed in color and it just gets your normal wear and tear just from using it so much. So I always like to change out the heads just for that reason. 
So I did go through one of these heads. I just wanna quickly say, if you are still hand washing your face, no. This video is not sponsored. I am a affiliate, but if you do purchase through me, I will get a small commission because I am a brand affiliate. But you guys know if you are not new here that I'm very honest and I don't talk about products I don't like. And obviously I wouldn't use up these products and have them in my empties if I didn't like them. So, and also I repurchased them. So that, so that goes to show you that I do really truly love the products. But if you do wanna support me and try out some of these products, I appreciate you so, so much. It helps me with my business and yeah. I was using this on my lower lash line. This is the Monsieur Big Lancome Mascara. This is definitely my favorite mascara ever. It is so good. This is all I used before I did my lash extensions. It is, this is definitely my favorite mascara when I am using mascara. Okay, I did actually go through two more concealers. This is the Hourglass Vanish Concealer. This is in the color Fawn. Um, okay, well, I guess it broke. Good thing I'm not using it anymore. I believe this is the color that I used for my wedding. I bought this concealer um, before I got married last year because I did my own makeup mixed with the Tarte Shape Tape, and I loved it. This is such a good concealer. It is high-end, so it is a little pricier. Absolutely loved this concealer. Are we surprised that a Tarte Shape Tape is in my empties bag? This is definitely a concealer I will always have in my collection no matter what. It is just such a staple. It's such good coverage. If you have an event or you have somewhere to go and you really want that full coverage, this is it. It is very full coverage, so it can be a little drying under the eyes, but it depends on like what your needs are. I will always have this in my collection. Elf. But what is this called? Elf Power Grip Primer. Why can't I talk today? I feel like words are like not coming out correctly. This primer is definitely my favorite primer, as you can see. I mean, there's a little bit more in here. I could probably cut this open and get more out. This will make your makeup just suck to your face. It has a really good grip to it. When you apply it on your face, you can literally like stick stuff to your face. That's how sticky it is. And your foundation will just hug to your skin. If you are looking for that long lasting, if you're looking for a primer, you're welcome. Okay, I did go through this um, foundation. Actually, again, this was the wedding foundation. This is just one of my favorite foundations. It'll never get old to me, and that is why I wore it on my wedding day. I mixed this with the Hourglass Vanish Foundation Stick, and it just gave me, like, such a good glow to the skin while also being full coverage. It's just amazing. So this is just such a good foundation. I actually, when I used to do weddings, this was the foundation I used on like all the bridal party because it's just one of those foundations that looks good on like anybody's skin. I just, I love it. And then the last thing in here is just an eyeliner. I didn't actually go through this completely, but it dried out. This is the Maybelline Gel Eyeliner. I feel like I used to love this, but recently whenever I would wear it, I feel like it always smudged. Like throughout the day, I would always notice it kind of like running and then it got like really dried out because I would forget to put the cap on, so my fault, but I actually purchased the L'Oreal gel pot. Um, so again, still drugstore, but I love that one more. So that was everything that I went through. There was so many things in there and guys, I'm sure I went through so many other products and just threw them out, but I try to remember to collect my empties because honestly, this video takes me back. This was actually, an empties video was one of my first videos I've ever filmed on my YouTube channel. I was so awkward and I probably still am awkward, but it's just kind of like warms my heart, empties videos, because I feel like they're so old school. I just love a good empties video because it kind of like brings you back to things. Like a lot of these products brought me back to my wedding day because I went through them and just like things that you forget about that you loved that you want to repurchase or things that you know you'll never repurchase again like it's just I just love videos like that so so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you guys are new here if you're here because of my crochet content I'm so sorry if this video is not for you and vice versa I'm sorry if you are subscribed to my channel for beauty videos and I haven't been doing as many I'm trying to just do things that I love and right now I just have you know different hobbies that aren't really the same niche 
So I just want to share everything that I'm doing on my YouTube and I hope that you guys don't mind. You guys will get a little bit of everything in here. I hope that you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. There's something smelling in the sunroom. Something smells in the sunroom? Mm -hmm. Looks like there's poop. Really? Yeah. It looks like there's poop in the sunroom? Okay. Okay, I'll come right down. Okay? It smells like poop down there. Uh, okay. I'll come look. Maybe the dog pooped. Yeah. Okay. Getting lost is time.